Meghan Markle, Piers Morgan, is he stalking her? That's what the video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Please do subscribe. Please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. And this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, viewer thinks that maybe he's actually kind of stalking her for what reason? Well, we'll, we'll throw the cards and see where they lead us. Okay, so viewer uh, Brenda Smith, thank you very much, Brenda Smith, for asking a question. And she wants to know, uh, Piers Morgan, she had asked another question about Piers uh, earlier in the week that I read on, and uh, this is uh, a little bit different. It says, Piers Morgan, um, is he actually stalking Megan? Okay, so that's what we'll look at. So Piers Morgan, wow, these cards are really working well, so they want to get into this. This is that top deck that I sometimes reserve for um, more difficult readings or difficult personalities, and um, so we'll see how this works out. So Piers Morgan, is he stalking Megan? Let's have just a moment of meditation. Yeah, that's interesting. So is Piers Morgan, I mean, actually stalking her? It does seem to be kind of a way that he gets his uh, juicy stories in the past. So is he actually stalking her? So, six cards. A prey. This makes me think of, of, of a, a wild animal sneakily observing its prey, waiting for just the right time when they're weak uh, to strike. Signifier card for this is the Prince of Discs. The Prince of Discs. Okay, so this is going to be the Knight of Coins. Uh, coins are value. Uh, the Prince is uh, equal to a Knight, so he's got to fight for the value that's been given to him. The Prince of Discs. Okay, that's the signifier of the reading. We'll see how that fits in. The um, challenge to that, then, is this Queen of Cups. Okay, so and I love this card. You really have to look at it to see all the um, the, the, the the detail in here. Uh, if you look right inside here, you can just see the queen's face, two little eyes, a nose, and a mouth, really almost obscured by this flourish. But then her body starts to uh, develop as you move down. And if you had this card in your hand, you could just study it for a while, and really has tons of meaning in it. Um, but uh, so the challenge to and uh, so this is cups, emotions, uh, passions. So this prince. Of this, this knight fighting for value, Piers Morgan trying to be relevant and make money, is challenged by this Queen of Cups. Who else can it be but Megan? This is what we're talking about. So this Queen of Emotion and Compassion, and, uh, and whether she's abusing that or whether she is uh, just trying to nourish that, um, you know, is not for us to decide. Really, um, the base of this reading is Dominion. So this is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is short-term planning. All right making some plans into the future. And in this card, this deck, this is called Dominion. What am I going to own? The past of this reading uh, is this five of discs. So this five of coins kind of being left out in the cold and it's called in this deck, Worry. Okay, so yeah. So this is making a lot of sense. I'll tell you in a minute. And then the sky of this reading, I've, I've not pulled enough cards. The sky of this reading is the star. Of course it's the star. This is Piers Morgan the star. This is Meghan Markle the star. The sky of this reading is the star. But the star is trying to find some sort of a, a balance, okay? she's she, This uh, figure right here, she's got one cup up here where she's pouring this stardust, the starlight, just streaming over her, and then it's funneled right back out uh, through this other cup. So very interesting card. This is certainly appropriate for both uh, Piers and Megan. And uh, since I forgot a card, I'll take one off the top. And uh, so the last card, the likely outcome of this, is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, is uh, this deck is called Indolence, but it's typically having to walk away from something that has a lot of emotional importance. 
So, uh, I, gosh, that'd be interesting uh, for Piers to walk away from this story. But the question was, you know, is he stalking her? Is he stalking her? Well, let's finish this up. <clears throat> Four cards. Is Piers stalking Megan? You know, does it qualify for that? Is it? Is it? Is it that? Has he moved to be in her vicinity? Is he circling her uh, habitat? Is Piers stalking her? Looking for a meal. The uh, self of that question, lust. Being tied to lesser intention. Lust. Of course it is. The um, environment that that's in is the Seven of Swords, and this is called futility, and this is betrayal in the typical day. Well, lust and betrayal. Interesting. Lust and betrayal. The hopes and the fears of this Princess of Wands, okay, that this, this um, Queen of Cups uh, has plans. That's the fears that he would have. This Princess of Wands is able to manifest whatever it is that she needs to avoid that predator. And then the final outcome for everything is this Princess of Discs. And so, <clears throat> you know, the Princess would be like a page of value. Okay, you got Page, Knight, Queen, King. So Princess, Prince, uh, Queen, King. And now we've got the Princess of Discs. So the Page of Discs, the Page of Coin, value, worth, uh, is the likely outcome of this. So, yeah, the um, Megan is going to be the winner in all of this, but it doesn't mean that uh, that uh, Morgan won't be fruitful along the way. So we'll read it all again. So is he stalking her? Well, we start out with this prince, this page of discs. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this uh, page of uh, coin. Okay, so yeah, he's like a knight fighting for that value. But he's challenged by what? By this queen of cups. And for me, this is Megan, queen of emotion. Uh, the um, base of this thing is the two of wands, uh, short-term plans called Dominion here. And in the past of this reading is this five of coins, and that's uh, being left out in the cold, and it's called worry in this deck. The, st the star, of the sky of this is the star, which they both are. So this is perfect. This is just a, a, like a battling supernova kind of a thing. And the likely outcome for that first part with this eight of cups is having to turn away from something that's of emotional importance to you. So could be. The um, self of that question is lust. It's the double card. It's just being tied to lesser intention. And then the um, uh, environment that it's in is in futility. Okay, the seven of swords, which is theft and betrayal. The uh, hopes and the fears for this is the knight of wands. Okay, the fighter of wands. going to make sure that there's plans to get through. And the likely outcome of all this is the knight of, or the page. Is this a page? Oh, I'm sorry. So this is a page of wands. Okay, so th this is a message wanting to come through about the plans that are in the future. It's a weak message. Okay, and then the likely outcome of the whole thing is this weak uh, offer of value. So I think that Megan's going to find her way out of this in a very weak way, but uh, it looks like he's here for the ride. Uh, so maybe the answer is yes. Well, the cards led us to here, the end. So let me know what you thought of those divinations. How did you like the deck? Do you have a different take on how things are going? Or is this reading just completely off base altogether? Let me know what you think and tell me what you'd like me to read on next. And I'll, I'm sure I will. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so these are the Toth Tarot deck. Alice, Alistair Crowley. And these are from U.S. Game Systems. And uh, these cards are pretty amazing. Um, some like to use them if they've got kind of a severe uh, subject. Uh, that they think needs, uh, um, you know, a very direct uh, answer to them, in, in, uh, not a, a flowery answer. The guidebook is very useful, as a matter of fact. It's easy to read, and it's got some interesting uh, uh, information here on the um, author of the card and the painter of the cards, and uh, with some uh, collaboration. So I'll just read this one little thing. This is by Lady Frida Harris, who actually painted these cards. And she says, Arthur Crowley's Toth Tarot Deck, the tarot could be described as God's picture book, or it could be likened to a celestial game of chess, the trumps being the pieces to be moved according to the law of their own order over a checkered board of the four elements. I love that. That's a very insightful way. If you think of the artist using that as her guiding light to designing the cards, that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, the cards themselves are 
are easy to read if you read the cards. In other words, if you don't impose your uh, predetermined notion of what a particular uh, card is supposed to mean, uh, like I often do, because I'm very much like the Rider Waite system, but these Toth cards are amazing. What happens here is that um, they tell you here in a, I don't know if you can see it, but in the background you see this tells you this is Wands, and of course this is the Prince of Wands, and then the, um, the Major Arcana, they show them in the very faintly, you see here it says Trumps, and uh, then this tells you this is Art. So they're not exactly the same uh, order of divination as the Rider Waite system, but not far off. And if you take a minute to familiarize yourself with, the, with how they um, are ordered, then I think you'll be okay. And I'd just like to give you this chance to look at all these cards spread out in case you don't get a chance to see uh, a lot of tarot cards. Um, maybe you're thinking about buying some cards and this would help you make a decision for or against these. They're a little big, so they're awkward to use, but once you get used to them, then that's fine. Just like anything, once you get used to using them, um, you know, you acclimate yourself to the system. So this is the Aleister Crowley Toth deck. Love these cards, actually. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.